Jamie Warner. Well, the bulk of the day has been quiet, but I've been watching radar closely this afternoon because there have been a few showers and thunderstorms that have tried to light up for a time. Looking at radar right now, you can see that it looks like 95% of the area is quiet, but there are a few pockets of shower and thunderstorm activity. We have one right here in Webster County, east of Marshfield. This activity dropping down toward the uh, Seymour and, Marsh, uh, and uh, Mansfield areas. Looks like some shower activity also headed toward Ava here shortly. Further south, we've got some stronger thunderstorms which have been migrating out of Boone County and across Searcy County. In fact, we had one severe thunderstorm right there uh, near Western Grove. It was likely producing some hail as it moved through that area. So there is that potential for not only some showers and thunderstorms, but an isolated severe weather threat not only today, but I think we're going to find it overnight tonight and then again into Wednesday. Now, the setup for tonight looks like this. We've got a warm front sort of draped from uh, north to south across western Missouri and in northwest Arkansas. I believe that's why we had the storms where we had them this afternoon, because there's a little upper level storm trigger interacting with that front. We've got another one to our north that's going to be dropping south southeast across the area. And that one, too, as it interacts with this warm front, will likely try to trigger some showers and thunderstorms across parts of maybe northern and north central Missouri later on tonight. Another thing that's going to help out out is a low level jet as it intersects that front. So this is going to be a favored area right here, closer to I-70, closer to Missouri, central Missouri for a few showers and thunderstorms to develop during the evening hours, maybe uh, mid to late evening. And then that activity would tend to migrate to the southeast across eastern Missouri and into northeastern Arkansas as we work into the morning hours on Wednesday. And it looks like there's going to be just enough wind energy for there to be a severe weather threat, mainly a hail threat with those storms if they do develop possibly some wind. If we get a bigger storm complex developing out of all of that, we could get some wind with some of that activity as well. Now looking ahead to Wednesday, Oftentimes what happens today impacts what's going to happen tomorrow and it looks like if we do get a wave of storms developing here overnight tonight and dropping southeast, it's likely going to reinforce this frontal boundary uh, from southwest Missouri and in north central and northeast Arkansas. So this is going to be a favored spot for maybe a few spotty showers and thunderstorms during the heat of the afternoon on Wednesday. And once again, there could be a few storms that are strong enough to produce some hail and possibly some wind. So here's our hour by hour forecast and I think it's doing a pretty nice job of showing how everything's going to evolve. Overnight tonight, much of the area looks quiet, but there will be this favored area to our northeast for a few showers and thunderstorms. Really areas from Lake of the Ozarks, southeast maybe across the West Plains area. This is through Wednesday morning. After Wednesday morning, I think for the morning hours, things look pretty quiet. And then during the afternoon, we'll have clouds bubbling up and there should be a few widely scattered showers and thunderstorms developing here from parts of south central Missouri and in north central and northeast Arkansas. Temperatures tonight, not as chilly as we've seen in previous nights. Looks like low 60s here in Springfield with highs tomorrow, low to mid 80s west to upper 70s to low 80s to the east. It looks like here in Springfield about 82 or 83 for a high. Looking ahead uh, beyond Wednesday, we should see dry weather. I don't think we're going to see any thunderstorms at all. Thursday or Friday as a ridge of high pressure builds across the region. But by this upcoming weekend, a big trough moves into the western U.S. And this is a signal for stormy weather to return to the midsection of the country. And I think we could see some of that. So as we close out the week, it's going to be quiet. It's going to be very warm with highs in the mid 80s and lows in the 60s. Saturday, I think we get through most of the day quietly. But there will be, I think, an increasing threat for storms during the evening hours from the west as a squall line moves in. Could get some severe weather with that quiet on Sunday and we could find additional shower and thunderstorm chances Monday into Tuesday. All right, something to watch in the meantime. Boy, enjoy the warmth. Yeah, we've been waiting for it, right? Yeah, it's been we kind have. of a cool month so far, but almost, we're going to get some heat coming almost up. Almost time to run through the sprinkler almost. out there, isn't it? That's we're getting right. there. Yeah. What's our viewers club number? Uh, number tonight, 151761. Our jackpot's up to $700. All right.